guys, today I'm going to be filming my hair care routine finally, and this was so requested. Everybody's asking, you know, how long did it take you to grow your hair out? How do you get your hair so long? Blah blah blah, do a hair care routine. So I was like, of course I'll do one. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna show you guys um, kind of like the length of my hair. And this, what it, this is what it looks like when it's natural, and this is the length of it now. So when it's natural, it's about like down, like past my boobs here. So yeah, it goes down to about there. And I actually just got a haircut like two weeks ago and she was like, you know, it's just gonna be on another grow spurt after this because she cut off all of my split ends. And so I was like, okay, great. Cause I always, I always just like, like the look of me having long hair because me with short hair is just like awkward looking. Like, I don't know. Do you see this? This is what I would look like with short hair guys. It's just weird, okay? I couldn't do it. Um, I had short hair in 6th grade and 7th grade, and then since like 6th or 7th, whenever I had it, like the shortest, I've just been growing it out since then, so that's like 3 or 4 years I've been growing it. So now it's just like pretty long, and it's never been this long before, it's like the epitome of the length right now. This is the longest it's ever been in my life, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to start off by showing you guys the products I use. So for shampoo and conditioner, I don't use like, I've never colored my hair, and this is like my natural color and everything, so um, I don't use like a special kind, I just use Garnier Fructis, and this is actually gone, I just like finished it today, there's just a little bit at the bottom. But for shampoo, I use the Pure Clean, and it just like looks like this, it's just in a clear green bottle. And this is actually a 94% biodegradable bottle, so, you know, that's good. And it has no silicone, no paraben, and no dye. And so this is actually, like, also pretty good for your hair. And it also, like, my hair is very, very oily and very, very thick. And so I know that it's not healthy for you to shampoo or for you to wash your hair every single night, but... I just like I have to like I like people don't understand when I say it I'm like no I actually have to like my hair is so thick and greasy that like if I don't shower every single night it'll just like look like kind of gross you know so I do shower and wash my hair every single night unless you know I forget every single time I do shampoo I've been using for the I've been using this shampoo for um probably since like the beginning of the summer I think but I absolutely love this shampoo I haven't switched since um, I just think that it gets like all the dirt and all of the oil out really well and this is for normal hair It says it gives you stronger healthier hair with no way down and I think it definitely does do, does do that Like I, I actually do have pretty strong hair and I don't really get that many split ends and I hadn't like I just went two weeks ago So that was in October for a haircut and I hadn't been since March and she was like Megan your hair shockingly is not that bad and I really don't get that many split ends You know I get like a normal amount like maybe a few less than everybody else but like for the amount that I don't cut my hair I really don't get that many split ends and I think it's from the products that I do use or maybe it could just be my hair I really don't know but um and then for conditioner I use Garnier Fructis fortifying conditioner and it's the triple nutrition one and it's for dry and damaged hair and it looks like this and I actually just bought this maybe two weeks ago um but I absolutely just fell in love with this. I used to use the like pure clean conditioner along with that one, but like, okay, when I put in conditioner, I, do you know what I mean when like you expect it to feel like soft already and like when you're putting it in, like you can feel your hair getting softer, but then like there's those conditioners that when you're putting in, it just feels rough and like it's not really doing anything. And like maybe after you'll have an effect, but like while you're putting it in in the shower, it just feels like weird. When I put in my conditioner in the shower, okay, so I like comb through my hair with my fingers. I don't think that's like good for it, but um, I don't think like people with like really tangly hair could do that because, okay, before I get into the shower, I like brush it out. Normally I'll have my hair natural and so it'll be like this, just like my regular like waves, I guess, my regular hair. And then um, before I get into the shower, I'll just brush it out and so then it's just like one big like poof ball. And then I'll just go into the shower and shampoo it, and then it's easier for me to comb through with my fingers. Like, that's what I do when I put in my conditioner. I don't know if that's good for it, but I think it is. Like, why wouldn't it be, you know? Like, I just comb my hair, or I, like, brush my hair out before while it's dry, and then I get in the shower, and I'll put in my conditioner and, like, do that. And so, yeah, I, I think you guys will know what I mean by that, but it, like, 
I just like comb through it and it makes it feel, this makes it feel so soft. It really is triple nutrition. Like I'm telling you guys, Garnier Fructis is a reasonably like cheap drugstore line. And so I actually really recommend this. Like this is the best conditioner I think I've ever used. It makes my hair so soft, so healthy, so smooth, shiny. It's just like, it's awesome. I absolutely love this. And it says that it fortifies with nutrients for silky hair that's full of life. And I definitely agree with that one because this is just awesome. And then now I'm gonna get into products that are not just, you know, shampoo and conditioner because I only have those two. But um, once a week, I'll use the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. And Lindsay also showed this in hers, but we both use this. Just like this big little tub. And oh my God, literally, if you have never smelled this before, it smells like. I can't even describe it. It just smells like heaven. I'm absolutely in love with it. And we've made like a dent in it, of course. But it's just like this really thick mask and I'll just get like a pretty good amount of it and just, you know, comb it through my hair. And it says to leave this in for up to seven minutes. And so normally I'll use this on days when I shave my legs because I don't shave my legs every day. Is Why would you do that? You know, like, I don't have a boyfriend. Why would I do that? TMI. Um, <laughs> but yeah, when I'm like shaving, I'll put this in because I'll... Okay, so I'll put it in and then I'll leave it in like while I'm shaving my legs and then by the time I'm done I'll just like wash it out because it doesn't take that long to shave your legs, you know? And so I, re I recommend doing that and I'll just use it like once a week. And if I'm not shaving my legs while I'm using it, then you know, I'll leave it in while I'm like washing my body or like, you know, doing something else. You know, just like leave it in while you're in the shower and then wait a little bit and then, you know, just rinse it out. And this makes your hair so flippin' silky. It makes your hair like awesome, you know? and it just smells so amazing and the next day your hair is just like one huge silk ball like I was just like oh my god your luscious locks look beautiful today and you're just like thank you I know <laughs> and then on most of the days that I don't use the macadamia hair mask I'll use the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product and it's just a little blue bottle and I'll just like spray this in my hand and then I'll just like massage it through my hair right when I get out of the shower and then I'll put my hair up in a towel and I'll leave it because okay I don't comb my hair or anything when I get out of the shower that's how I get like my hair like to look natural like this I brush it in the shower and I know that's like really bad and a lot of people don't recommend that but that's just like what works for me and I really don't get that many split ends and my hair is really not that damaged. I don't know, that's just like, I've always done that and I know Lindsay doesn't like do that because I just leave a brush in there and I'm the only one who uses it. Okay, so I'll leave my conditioner in and then I'll rinse it out and then while I'm rinsing it out, I'll brush my hair with it in there. And so it's like rinsing it out and brushing it and so then like right when I get out of the shower, my hair is like silky smooth and then I'll put in a product after if I don't use the macadamia hair mask because that's so like thick of a product that I don't need to put in more product when I get out. And so I'll put in, you know, it's a 10. And I'll just like massage that through my hair and then I'll put my hair up in like a little wrap towel thing. And then, you know, I'll just like do whatever. And then, and then like a few minutes after I'll take the towel off and then I'll just kind of like go like scrunchy with my hair with no product in it. Like I don't put any product in my hand, just like what's ever in my hair. Then I'll just like go like that and then it'll naturally like do these little waves. And I, I actually shower in the nighttime. I don't shower before school. I shower every night and then I'll go to bed with wet hair and I also think that's like not too good for you either. But that's what I always do and that's what I have been doing for like years. And so I always go to bed with wet hair and in the morning it's just like natural like this and I can do whatever with it. And then if it's natural in the morning and if I want to straighten it, then I'll straighten it. But I actually very rarely, rarely straighten my hair. Like I don't even straighten it for school anymore. Maybe I will like once a month, but I really only do it for like special occasions or if you know I'm feeling it because it's just, it takes a very long time with this amount of hair. But as I was saying, I use this product, you know, when I get out of the shower and um, I'll spray it in, leave it in, put the towel up. And this like is really lightweight, like I don't think it weighs down my hair at all. And it's just, it makes my hair really silky and smooth and it does 10 things. That's why it says that it's, it's a 10 because it does 10 things for your hair. And it's instantly. And it repairs dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls fridge, fridge. It controls your fridge. So if your refrigerator is, you know, running away, it'll control it, it'll go capture it, you know, whatever. No. Um, it controls frizz, it seals and protects your hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, 
and it's a flat iron spray and thermal protector. So like if you put this in before you blow dry your hair, it'll be like your hair protector, your heat protectant for it. And so yeah, I actually, I think that it does all 10 of what it says and it's just a really great product. I actually really recommend this. And then the last product that I will use, I'll put this in maybe like once a week. Maybe if I'm like not using the It's a 10 product and I'll just be like, hey, I want to try something new tonight. Yeah, I'll put this in. And it's the Triple Moisture Silk Touch Leave-In Cream and it has a UV shield and it's from Neutrogena. So it's just in this little bottle. Yeah, I'll use this maybe like once or twice a week and I'll just put it in and, you know, like I said, I'll just like massage it through my hair and then put it up in the towel and whatever. I really do think that this also gives you triple moisture because whenever I put this in, it's so silky the next morning. And all these products that I do use do just leave my hair really, really nice and really just silky, soft, smooth. And like my hair, like I'll leave it natural like this, but like it still feels soft and not like you know, like a giant frizz ball, you know? And my hair naturally does not like get that much frizz. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's just kind of like there wavy. And I'm actually like, my hair never used to be like this and it never used to be like this wavy, but I think like once it started getting longer, it started getting like this wave to it. And now it's just like naturally like this, but sometimes I'll have those days when it's just not working and I'll just have to like put it in a braid or something. But most of the time, this is my natural hair. <laughs> all the time. I'll just like wear it like this like every day. Um, but yeah, and so about this product, I really recommend it. It says it treats extra dry, over processed, or color treated hair. And I don't have color treated hair, but you know, everybody just needs a little silk in their life, right? And so it is silk touch. It is very silky and nice. And oh, I forgot to show you guys my brush, but um, it's just like this. Do you see it? The bristles are just like metal you know? And this is from Conair. I think I got this at Target. I just, you know, brush my hair right before I get in the shower. That's really the only time I brush my hair. Um, and unless it's like straightened, then I'll brush it. But if it's wavy like this, I don't brush it ever. Never, ever, ever, because it'll become a huge poof ball. But that's the brush that I do use. So yeah, that is just basically my overall, you know, hair care routine. And that is the products that I always use and those are the things that are like concrete for me. Maybe I'll switch it up every now and then and I'll do like an updated one if I do change my products, but that is what I do use. And then if I'm straightening my hair, the straightener that I use, I don't have it with me, but when I do use it, I just use a Chi Ultra and it's hot pink. I used it in my homecoming video, um, but yeah, that's the one that I use when I do straighten my hair. And I don't really curl it, that's basically all I do. It's either like this or it's straight, you know, whatever. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see, you know, what I do for my little luscious locks over here. Just kidding, I'm not really that obsessed with my hair. Um, but no, <laughs> um, you guys really recommended this. Like, you guys have been um, asking about this a lot, you know, asking a lot of questions about my hair and how I get the length. And this is what I've been doing for a while, and it's apparently working out very well because my hair is growing a lot longer than I expected it to. But I really like the length that it's at now, and I'm hoping it gets a little longer. But yeah, and so if anything changes with this, I will update you guys on it. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.